Chamber Music Society of St. Louis was founded in 2008 to encourage students and adults to appreciate the art form. Here with us is Mark Gordon, Executive and Artistic Director of the Chamber Society of St. Louis. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure, sir. So 2008, let's first put this all into context for those who aren't familiar with the Chamber Music Society of St. Louis and how it was started because you started off at the symphony for many years, the St. Right. Louis Symphony. I came here in the early 70s uh, and played in the St. Louis Symphony for 33 years and I left in 2005 and ostensibly to start this organization. I got waylaid a little bit and uh, ended up helping out in the Chicago Symphony when their English horn player retired and they asked if I could fill in and that was a pretty easy commute from here to <laughs> Chicago. And uh, then also a year in San Diego, which was not an easy commute. No. <laughs> um, but the Chamber Music Society of St. Louis got started because after concerts, I'd come out of the stage door at Powell Hall and people would say hello and talk for a while and the conversation went to, boy, I sure wish I could hear some chamber music. Mm -hmm. And after a few years of that, my wife Susan and I, who's a violist in the orchestra and a co-founder of Chamber Music Society of St. Louis, decided that maybe we ought to do something about it. So we started the first year in the Kranzberg Art Center mm -hmm. in Grand Center and put on two programs uh, that year and we did it cabaret style. So we were looking for something that would be a little more inviting. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so people were sitting at our tables and still do uh, cabaret style. So you can have a glass of wine or a soft drink mm -hmm. or whatever while the musicians are performing. It's very intimate and relaxed mm -hmm. and quiet. And it took, people loved it. And so the secret ingredient here is the relaxed atmosphere, mm -hmm. but also the programming. We're very careful about what we program and we're not looking necessarily to educate. Mm -hmm. We are looking to inspire and entertain and build audiences for classical music in general. For people who might be familiar when you say classical music, but not so much when you say chamber music, what is the distinction? Right, good question. Um, it falls under the category of classical music, actually whatever that means, but uh, it's smaller groups. So the symphony, there can be 80 to over 100 people on stage for a specific piece. Mm -hmm. And chamber music can be one person playing a solo or two people with a piano and say a violin, mm -hmm. or it can be a woodwind quintet or a string quartet, an octet, smaller versions mm -hmm. of, of these kinds of works. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, and with what you're doing, the concerts, they're, they're quite intimate. With the exception of the one coming up, so many people want to see it. You had to go into the Sheldon Concert Hall, to the actual concert hall, is that correct? Right. Again, nice problem to have, right? <laughs> Good, for a great problem to have. Well, sir, what happened was is that we sold so many tickets that the Sheldon said, we can't put in as many tables as you need in the ballroom, which is our usual home, without breaking the fire code. So obviously <laughs> we couldn't do that. So we made the decision that we only had one night for this concert, mm -hmm. and normally our concerts are done in pairs because the audience has grown so much. But we only had one night due to scheduling restrictions for us this week. So we decided to move it down into the concert hall. Mm -hmm. So we've taken what is normally 150 to 200 uh, seat venue to 700 seats. Mm. So um, it's a special, special night because we have a very distinguished guest artist who's been with us every year for at least the past five years, okay. Nicholas McGeegan. And Nick McGeegan is just the most delightful and talented person on the planet. He's all over the world, and we're very lucky to have him, but he's been a great friend, mm -hmm. both of St. Louis and of the Chamber Music Society of St. Louis and of the St. Louis Symphony. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, he was an artist in residence at Washington University in the 80s. So he's very familiar with the mm -hmm. city, and audiences here are familiar and love Nick. So it's worked out really well. We're going to uh, do this concert we're not sacrificing anything acoustically because the Sheldon Concert yeah. Hall is a fabulous yes. acoustic. And uh, we've got more seats, so what we decided to do was to do a half price ticket. So uh, it'll allow more people to get in to yeah. see it. Well, we've got that information for you on the screen. It's the, comp the concert coming up. 
this weekend, If It Ain't Baroque, Don't Fix It. Did you come up with that title, Mark? We did. <laughs> I like that. I love that. It's very clever. It's taking place October 7th at 7.30 p.m. at the Sheldon Concert Hall. It's the Chamber Music Society of St. Louis. For more information, go to chambermusicstl.org. But don't go anywhere. Stay with us. We're going to talk more about to Mark about this concert coming up this weekend, as well as another one coming up on Halloween. So we'll be right back after this break.